Looking at specific genus and species of isopods, each with slightly differing care needs, we've produced a series of videos based on the species specifically. Firstly, where it comes from, the habitat it might prefer, and moving on to any care best practices for this species, which again may differ, if only ever so slightly in some cases, from a very similar species, or at least a species from a similar location or appearance. The Porcelio Hoffman Segi Yeti are usually classed as one of the largest terrestrial isopods available from many keepers' collections currently, with the Porcelio Magnificus being of a very similar size in length, of which they can both top out at around 4cm, making them a very impressive species to keep. Also, still noticeable within a larger bioactive setups, where the reptiles may also be a feature. The Porcelio Hoffman Segi Yeti coloration is usually cream to white, including the eyes, as this is a morph of the Porcelio Hoffman Segi. The origins of the Porcelio Hoffman Segi Yeti come from both Spain and Portugal within the Mediterranean, and also from Morocco, which is located in North Africa. We draw from this both soil composition in these areas, being moderately dry, heading to the point of being arid, and warm in temperature. So this would lead our substrate, including any suitable decor, humidity and temperature of the setup, to mirror as best we can from the original environment. This is despite many isopods being quite versatile. Based on their original location, this temperature should be kept around 20 to 24 degrees Celsius, as the location is drier or arid, then there should be a mirror of this within the setup. Using sphagnum moss as a hydration station, this would allow a gradient of water or humidity, but keeping it to the drier side. Cork block flats should provide suitable hides, but for larger colonies you would need a much larger container as the overcrowding can induce the stress. Due to the size of the species, their calcium and protein requirements would be much more than a smaller sized isopod, but as always, limestone is preferable than cuttle bone. The protein can be supplemented by using dried shrimp, as the young of the species can be especially protein hungry. Like most isopods, they will predominantly eat decaying hardwood and dried hardwood leaves, but fruit and vegetables should both be enjoyed. The isopods can be seen making great mothers and would actively protect their young. They have been known to breed after eight months. Breeding can be quick with average sized broods. The the species shows di sexual dimorphism with the tails in the males usually being much longer than the females in comparison. Males, however, can be quite territorial towards other males and juveniles. Thank you for watching. If you have found this video useful, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. This will give you updates on new releases of a similar nature. This is very helpful to us. We do appreciate it. Check out our social media links found within the description of this video. We also love discussion, especially if you have another point of view. Please add your comments, it helps us improve our content. We do have plans to make many more videos in the future, however these might have content updates as our work progresses. Our videos might be updated and re-uploaded at any point as our research progresses. Thank you once again.